Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a zero dollar budget pen pal letter. Now this is for anyone who's asked me how do I make pen pal letters using only supplies I find around my house or do you have any supplies that you use that are really low budget? Um, these are all of the things that I would do if I didn't have a large stationery collection. Um, I actually used a lot of these supplies when I first started out. So things that you would find around the house would be things like scissors, string, glue. I actually save a lot of my clear packaging so that's completely free if you start saving all the clear packaging that you get off things. And I also went to Bunning and found these um, paint color samples. So um, again completely free from Bunnings. Um, I grabbed a whole bunch. <laughs> and then also some tape. This is packing tape. A lot of people have this around their house as well. So, um, the first thing I wanted to do was create the envelope and I've actually, I'm going to be using um, Frankie magazines to create a lot of my bits and pieces in throughout this um, snail mail package. So I'm getting the cover and I'm going to actually create the envelope from the cover just because it's quite sturdy cardboard. Um, and you can use any magazines if you don't have Frankie and I know that Frankie magazine is something that you would have to purchase um, but uh, I honestly I got these from free from my mom <laughs> um, because she works at a library so see if your local library actually chucks out their old magazines um, and that might be good to go through and start cutting out some pages of magazines that may be over five or ten years old that people aren't hiring out anymore um, I know that um, that's what my mother does because she just gets so many magazines that they don't have enough space to keep them all um, and she works at the library so most people would have read these magazines years ago so I'm um, in this case this one's free but um, a lot of people do have um, different magazines as well that they probably don't use because if once you read it once you don't really need to read it again or multiple times but um, I'm also using buttons because I think this is quite a common um, thing that people have throughout their houses and a little mini sewing kit so as I said I'm going to try to use things that you would generally find around your house now as you can see what I've done is just folded the cardboard in half and then folded a flat down for the top and then I've just sewn on two buttons and then I'm just going to tie string around them. I'm a very terrible sewer so it was crooked <laughs> so if anyone has OCD they need it to be straight um, then I'm so sorry about that it was meant to be straight but because I'm very terrible sewer I sewed it crooked. So get some twine um, wrap it around the top there and then what I wanted to do was cover the inside of this Frankie magazine so it looked a bit prettier. As I said all of these um, coloured papers are ripped out of the magazine so if you have different magazines you can try to find as many pattern paper as possible um, to create these designs. Again, I really wanted to use things you'd find around the house. If you, if your parents or yourself ever get mail that have stamps on them, um, encourage you to keep them. Um, my grandma also actually gave me a whole bunch of stamps as well so you can go around and ask people if they've got stamps or as I said magazines. Um, these are things that are commonly found in people's homes. So I also just put a little bunch of stamps into a little bag there you couldn't really see that but oh yeah there it is you can see it now <laughs> and then um, what I wanted to do was design the front of this envelope the same as I would design a front of um, an envelope that I'm sending out to a pen pal with bought stationery so I'm using very bright colorful papers I thought it'd be so fun to make a really bright snail mail today since we've got lots of bright colors out of the magazine um, and the word joyful just summed up I think the whole theme of this video so using a lot of yellows and pinks and lots of vibrant colours. Um, again, you can hear the train in the background because <laughs> I live very close to a train station. I think I say that in most of my voiceovers. Um, but again, as you can see, I'm just making a little collage and then it takes me a really long time to figure out how I want to display these stamps on top of this envelope. I messed around this for a little while, but I cut out a lot of the footage just because it was literally just me just putting down these stamps a million different ways. <laughs> Eventually, I thought I can't have all the stamps across. I wanted something to break it up. And that's when I used this little flower pot pant. 
Um, I usually use flower stickers, so fantastic that I found this little flower pot plant. It had a little yellow bit around the bottom, which matched perfectly. Now I realize that I was talking quite quickly, so I'm gonna slow down my pace a little bit. Um, but the next thing I wanted to do was just cut off this little bit of paper that was folded over when I fold the envelope in half. And usually I would put washi tape there, um, but because most people don't have washi tape around their house, I couldn't justify it. So I'm just gonna leave that one plain. But if you do have a bit of washi tape, it might look nice there if you are following this tutorial. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is create a little pocket of goodies inside. And again, this is one of the Frankie covers and it's a beautiful design of a woman holding a cup of tea and it looks like sh it's a very wintry scene. Um, I'm doing the same things that I would do with most of my bought stationery. So I'm going to design the inside of this little card um, with some pretty paper. And again, it was just some patterned paper I found and it matched the color palette that I'm using throughout this snail mail. So I'm just pasting that on and then I'll cut around it so it matches up to to the card um, that I've created out of one of the front covers um, of the magazine. And then I'm just basically pressing out all those little bubbles. <laughs> um, and a glue stick, you will need to do that. If I was using um, probably a different tool, I would probably use um, double-sided tape or one of those glue tapes because they work a lot better to stick down large pieces of paper because you will get a lot of bubbles in glue. Um, and then I'm also just decorating this little baggie the same way I would usually decorate it with a bit of ripped up paper and then usually a sticker, but I don't have stickers because all stickers are bought. So again, just some. Um, pictures out of the magazine and I thought this worked perfectly because it looks a bit crafty the little glue gun um, and yeah I think it looks quite cute so once I do that I'm also going to make my own stickers next and I'm going to make them using a whole bunch of these different um, I don't know what they were actually in the magazine I thought they were like, um, what do you call it, like patches. So I cut them all out and what I'm gonna do is I've got baking paper, because again, most people have baking paper in their home. I'm gonna be putting down the packaging, this, the, the tape, sorry, the packaging tape, and that's gonna be the bottom of the sticker. So when you cut these out, the baking paper should easily pull off the bottom. Um, and then all you need to do is layer down whatever images you find out of magazines, or you can print out your own images if you're going to do this yourself. If you, if you don't find anything out of magazines, print images are perfectly fine, or even photographs if you've got some photos throughout your house as well. And then all you need to do is literally just pop the tape straight on top and then you've made your little homemade sticker. I should have done this a little bit better. I kind of rushed through this. I don't know why, because these are quite cute, these stickers. But using a ruler would have gotten out a lot of these bubbles and I had a quite a few bubbles. But again, it looks a little bit more homemade if it's a bit um, bubbly, I guess. <laughs>
So I'm basically just going to put it in the middle and then wrap around it. And then all you really do to, to create this envelope is just cut the corners. Um, so once you've folded it up, all you need to do then is unfold it and then cut the corners depending how large they are. They're usually large rectangle strips. Um, I also then tried to cut the top to make it look more of a curved envelope at the top, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. I really didn't like the look of that. I kind of stuffed it up a bit. Um, again, I would usually put this envelope together using washi tape, um, but I'm just going to have to use plain sticky tape because this is a little bit of a challenge. And yeah, as I said, you can see here that I'm cutting that curve and I thought it looked nice and then I pushed it down. I'm like, oh no, it didn't even look right so um I just thought I'd, that would make it try to make it look pretty with a bit of string and I always tie string on the outside of a lot of my envelopes so it's a um a usual design that I do and then as I said I'm going to you get a wax seal trying to put my own wax seal on using products that I've got around the house so this large candle worked fine but the wax that you use when you're making normal wax seals dries a lot quicker and obviously the colors are a lot darker. You just need to make note that it takes a long time to dry compared to normal wax that you'd get when you buy wax to make wax seals. Um, I also tried to use the button as like a little wax stamp but it didn't work. It just kind of got stuck inside of the wax. So if you do... Um, try to use something to stamp it maybe even like a coin or something might work a bit better because the plastic seemed to just stick in there and then i tried to pull it out and it didn't pull out so now i've just got that button permanently on this envelope <laughs> um, but i think, think it still looked all right it wasn't too bad um but i'll definitely make a few changes if i was to do it next time and maybe pick a, a prettier candle um because i didn't really like the red but it looked all right. <laughs> um, so that was that final um, goodies envelope. And um, I really like the design on top of the pink one as well. Joyful, makes me happy to see all the yellows. I'm going to just make a little pocket using this really pretty picture of this woman drinking a coffee and I think she's reading a book. I just can't see because the, the footage is going a bit faster. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some pockets on the back of it and I'm going to put in some of the um, magazine cutouts in it that I really liked and that I'd probably use myself to create some mail art. So as you can see here, I'm just cutting out all of these images that I probably would have kept myself and used um, if I wasn't gifting this away. I would never give something unless I would use it myself. So I was quite particular about what I wanted to gift. And then I just put this at the top to create a really pretty pattern. And then the bottom one, I'm just sticking down with some tape. Um, again, I would probably use washi tape, but I don't have washi tape, so it's just plain tape. And um, then I'm just simply just putting them inside the pocket to gift. Um, and then usually what I'll do is I'll decorate the front of any envelopes that I send out with some stationary products. So that's why I'm just going to decorate this with some um, pretty papers. You can see this yellow paper here that I'm about to stick down is actually one of the, um, the paint what do they call them paint sample color samples from Bunnings um, so definitely if you're looking for some vibrant colors go to your local Bunnings I don't know if everyone has a Bunnings in their country but <laughs> you can make your own little um, good goodies of um, paper packs as well <laughs> sorry my voiceover is getting really weird here <laughs> sorry about this um, I'm going a bit downhill at the end bear with me um, so again as I said I wanted to gift some dried flowers so I'm just going to decorate the little baggie as well and this baggie um, it looks like it may have held like a bookmark or something inside I can't remember what was in this one but it was quite a nice shape
So that's everything in this do-it-yourself $0 budget pen pal letter. I hope my voiceover wasn't too bad today. I realized I got a bit mumbly there in the middle. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought, if you're gonna use this yourself. Thanks again for watching. If you have any video ideas, I always love to hear them in the comments below, or I should say read them in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.